Hello, I am Sergio Sanes Kefalidis, I'm one of the developers of XFCE, and in this video I will show you what I've been working on in the last month or two months, I don't remember. So, uh, let's begin. Uh, first of all, if anybody's been using uh, 4.17.85, uh, a performance regression in the tree view on the left side here has been fixed. It was caused by the recent folder, uh, but that, that won't be a problem anymore. So let's see what's new. First of all, in the properties tab for the folders, you can now see what the contents are, like six files and three folders, and if we go in there, that's the truth. The next improvement is the customizable status bar. You can right-click in the status bar and just make the display name disappear, or the file type, or the size, or the other size. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. If you disable the size, both of them go away. So that's also new. I haven't added all the options because um, I don't really think that people will want, to, will want to disable the free space here. They can be added if people need them, they will be added, but until some people ask for it, there is no reason to include it since it will just make the code base more complicated and introduce more preferences. And if there is no need to, I prefer not to introduce uh, any more complexity. Uh, the final uh, update, and that's a pretty big one, the most important one I've been working on, uh, is a shortcuts editor for XFC applications, not only for Thuner. Uh, this is developed as a standalone library, uh, as a part of another library. And XFC applications that use that specific library can easily introduce a shortcuts editor inside their preferences or as a separate dialogue. So if I open the preferences and go to the shortcuts tab, uh, I can now edit the preferences. Like I can go here and say control shift and Y, and then go here and control shift and Y. That's kind of weird, but yeah, I'm pressing it. Yeah, you see new tabs right here. Uh, I can remove that and now pressing control, tab, control T or control shift and Y will do nothing. I can revert it to the default one and con oh no. Ah, yeah, okay. There is a bug and I didn't know that I could trigger it this way too. Let me just close and reopen it and just do this. Yeah, uh, the bug is that for when adding new shortcuts, they are not added for the current window. Uh, that has to do with the way that Tuner handles shortcuts, but that's not really important. It is probably very easily solvable. I just haven't had the time to sit down and fix it yet. So let's just say, let's go to something that doesn't have a shortcut. Uh, the status bar, say control shift eight. And if I go and press control shift eight, nothing will happen. But if I open a new window and do it, it will work as expected. So it's just the currently open window and it will be solved. Don't worry about that. Let's just remove that. So that's it. These are the new features for Tuner. And I've been working on improving the performance of the icon view, which is this view right here, because if you open a folder with a lot of files, uh, this is not it. Okay. Uh, I thought I had one here. Oh yeah, as you can see here. No, oh no, it's not that. Okay, I don't know. If you open a folder with a lot of files, um, Tuner slows down to a crawl. It almost freezes. And uh, that is something that I'm looking into to improve that. And I am also going to be working on a customizable uh, top bar. So we have a customizable status bar. Uh, hopefully we will also have a customizable top bar. So this right here, you should be able to reorder things, uh, add more, add custom actions on the top bar and stuff like that. Um, I will also be live streaming in the following days, like I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Um, I will be live streaming a session of either fixing a bug or adding a feature to show people how the development works and possible new contributors how they can get started. So if you are interested in that, uh, leave a comment or just tell me something, whatever. Uh, you, I advise, um, I, what's, how, to, how should I say that? Uh, it would be great if you guys left a comment or went to the uh, issue tracker and reported any bugs that you find or make any suggestions that you have. And that's pretty much it. 
uh, goodbye and have a beautiful night.